Ah, the Soul Society arc. The arc in which we got introduced to my boy Sosuke Aizen, who I recently did a video on, and the arc in which Renji got cooked by everybody. I mean, you already know it's bad when the only dub this man took was beating up a bunch of no-name guards. Renji was getting bullied by everybody in this arc. By Byakuya, Aizen himself, Ichigo Kurosaki, the main character. Renji was getting pieced up everywhere he went. Keep in mind, this is also the same arc in which he unlocked Bankai. And it wasn't even his real Bankai, because this man's own Zanpakuto didn't respect him enough to give him the actual name. That's how down bad Renji was this whole arc, and honestly, I'm not the biggest Renji fan, but I really felt bad for this man, because all he wanted to do was free his childhood friend Rukia, who he also got a crush on. He was just trying to free her for being executed for the crime of saving a family. Yeah, as I said in my Aizen video, the Soul Society is a pretty shady place. Now there were some really good Renji moments in here. I did love his fight with Ichigo when they were both going against each other, and his fight with Byakuya was pretty damn good until Byakuya decided to start taking him a little bit more seriously. I mean, Byakuya was going up against him, hit him with a couple keto spells, and then straight up pulled his Bankai, Senmon Zagara out just to rub it in his face and show him how much of a chance he did not stand. And then after doing all this and Renji tried to make a final stand against this man, he collapsed on the ground and Byakuya just threw a scarf on top of him. And that doesn't even compare to how Aizen did this man, he wasn't even seeing him as a challenge. Bro just said, look, give me Rukia, I'm gonna take her, either way I'm getting what I want. To be fair here though, Aizen was kind of bodying everybody at that point, but y'all get the point, Renji was a part of that too. But in my honest opinion, the Soul Society arc was probably the time Renji was getting disrespected the most, because my mans wasn't taking any W's that entire arc. I mean, this guy was trying to escape with Rukia after Ichigo literally threw her at this man, and yet Tosin just came and teleported him back to the damn pole. I mean, Renji just couldn't catch a break this arc. Now I know a lot of people are probably going to think, well, when did Renji ever catch a break in any arc? I mean, yeah, he got bodied by a spotter number nine, but to be fair here, a spotter number nine, I can't say his name, literally had prep time on Renji, while Renji didn't know shit about him, so I don't even really count that one. And he did kind of redeem himself when he came back in the Thousand Year Blood War and bodied Mass Damasculin, the same Mass Damasculin who literally beat two captain level fighters. I know Renji's always been one of those guys that gets thrown at the stronger guys to show how strong they are and what obstacles that our main character Ichigo was going to have to face, but I just feel like in the Soul Society arc, everybody was beating this man's ass. Of course, he did get much stronger as the series progressed and was kind of a secondary rival to Ichigo. You could argue that Uryu was technically his real rival. But regardless, Renji was always seen as someone who could rival Ichigo, but that arc in particular, he was just getting pieced up by everybody. But of course, that's my opinion, y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyways, that's a really quick video I wanted to put out for you guys today. Before you go, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell, and also liking this video and sharing it with your friends. And let me know, you think Renji was getting bullied in the Soul Society arc? Do you think there was a worse arc for him? You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching this video. More videos coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.